I followed my dreams and opened an antique store to have adventures and spend time as a family. Sometimes you have to climb a mountain and open some new doors to find the treasures inside. This is our life, this is our adventure, and this is Curiosity Inc. The year, 1946. World War II had just come to an end. Troops were home, spirits were high, and people wanted to have fun again. An early form of entertainment was coin-operated machines. These were geared to an older audience. Unlike modern arcades, which are geared for kids and teens, these machines could have been found in pool halls, bars, and in some cases, pinball machines and coin-operated games were still outlawed and considered gambling. <gasps> shooting gallery games were really popular at the time, and over winter I got a lead on a couple very early shooting gallery machines. So I headed back to the town of Thorhild, Alberta. If you remember, in an earlier episode, I went out and dug up nine huge 4 by 8 foot cigarette signs out of the ground and even found a massive, nearly 10 foot long neon billiard sign in a farm field which we've since had restored and is on display proudly in our shop and looks fantastic. So let's hope the lead today leads us to something equally cool that we can bring back to the shop. So let's have a look. So we pulled these machines out of that shed and here they are. It's almost like a Luger, like a German style pistol on there. We've got a sled dog running around. And although the dog was part Timberwolf, it ended up being pretty friendly. We got the machines loaded up just fine and now we're headed back home in the dark and we're gonna unload tomorrow morning at the shop. This is a pair of Dale guns, also known as Mauser shooting galleries. And yesterday when I was at the place picking them up, I made a mistake and I said, huh, oh, these look like a Luger. Well, it doesn't look like a Luger. I was right, it's a German gun, but what I was thinking of saying was Mauser, so those are obviously Mausers. Um, very early pieces. Um, these would date from probably around 1947 or so. And if I look at the patent dates, even on the uh, coin mech, uh, these have 1933 patent dates on the coin, on the coin mechanism there. So old, old stuff, early, early uh, coin operated shooting gallery games. Now the trick is going to be getting them working. I can tell already that the black one is probably going to be the one that's going to go first. Um, it's got the coin mech on it, whereas the blue one's missing it. And generally it's just in a little bit better condition. So this is going to be the guy that we try and get running. Uh, the blue one either I will sell as it is or I will try and get that going down the road, but it's not a priority right now. The nice thing about these is that the guns are there, they're present, they're in good shape with working triggers. The back glass is unbroken and in good condition and the cabinets are quite good. I'm just gonna really clean those up and uh, not even repaint them or do much with them, just clean them. So to make the backdrop, which is gonna look like basically the floor, um, for the forest, we are using a couple different colors. We're gonna put a base coat of blue down and then put some green on top. And this will become the base of our forest floor for the shooting gallery. And I'm just using paint basically that I have from around the store here so I don't have to go out and get more. So you can see I've started to layer on some coats. So make sure that I cover every spot, let that dry and I'll blend in a little bit of green on top to kind of give it a bit of effect. So there we go. Just wait for that to dry and then put some more paint on. Okay, so I've got the back back on the unit here. We've done some adjustments and we're gonna turn it on and give it a try and see if this guy works. And as you can see, I've kind of got a, uh, well, I, it was my own version of the topper. I didn't have the original one. I'm sure there's somebody out there that might reproduce it, but for now, that'll do the trick. Uh, lights are all working, it's all cleaned. Uh, coin mech is oiled up and it seems to be working good. So let's put a nickel in, actually, before I do that. You kind of see down the alley here, um, the bottom there, that's the piece we just painted. And at the back, this is all reflected in a mirror. You can see the sides that we've put in and painted. So it's uh, looking like it's just about ready. So let's put a nickel in here, see what happens. And if you were a soldier coming back from the Second World War and wanted to try out that German Mauser that you heard so much about, this was a cheap way for a nickel. Actually, a nickel was kind of a lot of money back at the time, but this was a way that you could try out the gun, and they gave a sense of the recoil and a sense of the action, so um, something you would have seen in a bar or a pool hall, uh, not necessarily meant for kids. In fact, uh, one of the units I have says that kids are prohibited from playing it, so 
Um, kind of a neat thing, but uh, we're gonna give it a try here and see how she goes. Okay, so the lights all reset. Let's give it a try. And this thing has a crazy recoil on it too, which thankfully is still working. Oh, there we go. Some are a little trickier than others. Look at this thing. They try to give a little bit of kickback like it's a real gun. Got another. Although it's a fun game, it still feels kind of wrong to shoot cute little squirrels and chipmunks and American eagles with a Mauser. So thanks again for tuning in on another adventure of ours. This one's more of a product review, me having fun at work. <laughs> but I appreciate that you watched either way. Um, if you like our little videos and like our channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. You'll get updates when we go on some of our bigger adventures. And you'll also get to see some cool stuff every now and again too. So thanks again for watching. Uh, you can check us out on Instagram under Curiosity Inc. Y-E-G. We're on Facebook as well. Those are the two best ways to get a hold of us. And uh, also find some stuff that we have for sale uh, because we do sell all the stuff that's around me here. Um, and um, yeah, look forward to seeing you guys soon. Thanks again for watching and bye for now.